This is Maryam Fufa from Algeria. She's 10 years old. She should be running in a playground or sitting at a desk with her textbooks. But instead, she's sitting in a prison cell, a deportation center in Turkey. Her crime was trying to seek asylum from a government that sought to imprison and kill her family for what they believe in. Now, she sits there waiting to be free one day. Listen to the words she wrote to the Qa'im of al-Sadiq from him is peace. Hello dear father Abba al-Sadiq. I am writing this letter to inform you about what happened on this journey. When we started walking towards the border, the police officers tried to block the way with the cars, but we kept walking and when we got to the door, they started shooting in the sky. Six bullets to be specific, we started screaming not out of fear, we were basically screaming so they would stop. At that moment, I and my mom were separated from my dad. I could see the police officers hitting my dad. They then opened the first door, which was like a cage. They started pushing us and hitting us, including me. Babies, women and toddlers. We kept walking. My dad put me on his shoulder since I couldn't breathe. They kept pushing us until we got out of the cage. Many police officers pushed my dad in the police car. Then they put us in a bus, not even letting us take our things. When we arrived to the police department, they confiscated everything we had, phones, glasses, etc. They wanted to take our fingerprints, but my mom refused. They took out fingerprints anyway. Then they, they took us to the cafeteria and fed us nothing but biscuit and water. Then they put us in a bus to take us somewhere else and let us sit outside until about 6 a.m. Then they threw away everything we had left. They, they, they then put us in a tent with lots, and I mean lots, of people with many benches. We, and we had to sleep on the floor for three days. The toilets and everything were disgusting and they wouldn't give us any soap and they refused to give us blankets. They only gave us biscuits and water every day. They took us to a building and each group had one room. Some rooms had around 17 people. It was like a prison and they treated us like prisoners. All the doors were, are locked past 7 p.m. We all eat in a canteen. The food was usually awful. They sometimes let us go out and in a small garden for about one hour. We can't wait to get out of here. It's really depressing. And I barely get to see my dad except for two visits a week. I already experienced not getting to see my dad because of when he went to jail. We all love you, my father. 
May God protect all of us. Miriam Fufa, 10 years old. Lebek Abbasadik. Don't let Maryam's voice be silenced. Sign our petition. Stop the deportation of these innocent, believing refugees. Hashtag Humanity Before Borders. <laughs> <laughs>